हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू गाइस आर गुड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई अपोलोजाइज फॉर बीइंग वेरी लेट बिकॉज देर वर ईद उलफितर हॉलीडेज एंड रमज़ान लास्ट अशर एज वेल एंड देर वर सम फैमिली इशू सो आई वाज बेसी देयर सॉरी फॉर बीइंग कनेक्टेड लेट बट फ्राम नाउ ऑनवर्ड्स आई विल जस्ट कीप ऑन कैप्चरिंग वीडियोज ऑन डेली बेसिस सो डेट देर वुड बी नो स्टडी गैप्स बिटवीन योर लेक्चर्स ओके Today we are going to start chapter फोर algebraic expressions from नाइन्थ class Punjab textbook board. Okay, uh, I decided it to start from chapter फोर because algebra is very important for every student. So it's better that you should work on algebra first. First you will learn algebraic rules and expressions. Then you can easily uh, then you can easily get on get back on chapter 1 and chapter 2 3 because rules are same everywhere so today we are on chapter number 4 algebraic expressions and algebraic formulas before we proceed further we have to do we have to memorize formulas because formulas plays an important role in solving algebraic equations first you will learn how to solve formulas what are formulas formulas are something that is being remembered from day first okay it's never changed you just have to memorize formula as it is okay then you can just solve questions easily by putting formulas first formula is we have square formulas first first formula is a plus b whole square that is equivalent to a square plus b square plus 2ab here we have uh, this and symbol is used for uh, to sh represent exponent okay so a plus b whole square is equivalent to what a square plus b square plus 2ab similarly we are going to do the same formula with subtraction sign okay that is a minus b whole square is equivalent to a square plus b square and minus 2ab with 2ab you will use the same sign that is between the two alphabets okay so now we are going to jump on third formula of square that is a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square that is equivalent to 4ab these formulas are fixed you have to learn as it is and the next formula is a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square is equivalent to 2 into a plus b into a square plus b square plus 2 a b okay uh sorry this formula is like a plus b whole square plus a plus b plus a minus b whole square that is equivalent to a 2 into a square plus b square okay and next formula is a plus b plus c whole square whenever we have three alphabets then we will just write a square plus b square plus c square and then 2 ab then 2 with bc and 2 with ca okay so according to your given question you will just write answers with the help of formulas now let's jump on cube formulas okay first we have done square formulas and now we are on cube formulas cube formulas are like a plus b whole cube that is equivalent to what a cube plus b cube plus 3 ab into a plus b and second formula for cube is a minus b whole cube that is equivalent to what a cube minus b cube minus 3 ab into a minus b wherever you have minus sign between alphabets then you will just use that in all cubic formulas and then next is a cube plus b cube single cubes that is equivalent to what a plus b into a square plus ab plus b square okay and similarly you will write third formula for cube that is with subtraction sign so your all left right hand side would be win subtraction sign let's start exercise 4.1 it's question 1 and 2 are just uh, about whether the given expressions are algebraic or not that is simply yes or no whenever you will learn algebraic expressions definition then you can easily write yes or no for that so i am going to start question number 3 question number 3 statement is reduce the following rational expressions to the lowest form reduce means to shorten simplify or whatever working you can just do lowest form is its simplest form you should simplify the question up to maximum level okay wherever there is no simply simplification that would be considered as your final answer so part 1 for this is 120 x cube 
y cube z exponent 5 this slash sign is used for division 30 x cube y 1 and z square so you will just break down 120 into factors in mathematics multiplication sign that is shown similarly as x is used for multiplication but point or dot is also used for multiplication at advanced levels now you guys are in grade 9 so you can easily understand that here I have used dots that doesn't mean decimal here okay it means 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 2 into 3 into 5 okay so 120 will be break down into factors that is 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 3 to the 24 and 24 5 are what 120 x cube as it is y cube as it is and z exponent 5 then division sign that is slash sign and then you will just do what you will break down 30 into factors okay that is again you will divide it by 2 and then you have to write 2 3 are 6 and 6 5 are 30 so 2 into 3 into 5 x cube y exponent 1 and z square now you will check these are multiplied and divided with each other so you will simply cut it 2 with the 2 okay so 2 ones are 2 2 ones are 2 you are left with 2 twos 2 times 2 and then 3 with 3 is cut it and 5 is also cancelled with 5 in the upper level okay so you are left with 2 into 2 that is 2 twos of 4 and then x cube will be cut it from x cube in the denominator uh, the amount that is written on the top is known as numerator and which is written below like with a after division sign then you will just call that denominator okay so y cube is cut it with y cube sorry x cube is cut it with x cube and then you are left with y1 exponent on the numerator and in denominator you have y1 so 3 minus 1 that is y2 and then z cube because on the numerator you have z exponent 5 and in the denominator you have z exponent s2 so 3 minus 2 will be just 3 5 minus 2 would be 3 so your final answer is what 4 y square z cube that's your final answer it means this is your lowest form thank you very much for watching just subscribe like and share my video thank you very much i will back to you guys shortly with next questions okay thank you